All right, our final award is the Legacy Broker Award, uh, which is created to honor and thank those brokers who have established a high level of achievement and leadership in the industry over their careers and respected by their peers for honesty and ethics and have shown a willingness to mentor and guide the next generation. Mike Wynn is the personification of the Legacy Broker Award. With over 35 years of investment sales experience, Mike was a key member of the Wynn Ritchie team that executed more than $21 billion in transactions and brokered the sale of many of Denver's high profile assets. Icons of the industry, Mike and his business partner Tim were NAOP Investment Broker of the Year honorees a record 14 times from 1997 to 2019 and received the Broker Outstanding Achievement Award in 2012. Throughout his career, Mike impacted the lives and careers of numerous individuals through tireless devotion of time, energy, and talent. So let's hear from Mike's former team and longtime partners, Tim Ritchie, Chad Flynn, Jenny Knowlton, and Charlie Will about the significant role Mike played in their careers and how he continues to serve as a role model for others. been fortunate to be a partner with Mike Wynn for over 29 years and um, our relationship is Mike and I had the opportunity, fortunate luck and uh, incredible bolt of lightning to meet back in 1990 at Grubbin Ellis and to be introduced to each other via a mutual friend of ours, great real estate guy Bob Caldwell. And at the time he thought Maybe, uh, maybe we would be good to work together. Mike actually hired me 15 years ago. I was lucky enough to land an internship with uh, him and Tim Ritchie, and I never looked back. When I first joined the team, I knew of him, um, and everyone I had talked to spoke highly of him. And then since I was able to join him and the team, my respect for him has gone up ever since. So very, very honored to know Mike Wynn. I met Mike right out of college. I had no idea what an office investment sale was and convinced him to hire me and really fortunate to have made that connection to, and to have worked with Mike for, for 10 years. Mike was a great, um, savvy businessman at heart and early on i was a bit of a technician it was a, it was a great marriage and um i think we kind of grew up in the business together um but we both were able to work together extremely hard and um i think we had a we had tremendous success because we frankly at the end of the day it was all about sort of representing our clients interests to the very very best we could the question is what what should the audience know about mike well i i'm going to go out on a limb and guess that mike personally would know 90 percent of the people in the audience and the only other people that he wouldn't know are people that he haven't had hasn't had the chance to meet yet He's, he's all about giving back to the industry and dedicating his personal time. I mean, when Mike cares about something, when he loves something, he does it with his whole heart and does not leave it anything, anything on the sidelines. And I, I had never come across someone like that in, in my life. And it didn't really matter what it was, whether it was his family, whether it was his job, whether it was something else completely random in life that he's passionate about when he cares he does it with everything he has, and it's something that, you know, frankly, I hope one day I can emulate. I have never met a human being in my entire life that has broken as many bones as Mike has throughout the course of his career. <laughs> Three words to describe Mike Wynn. I would say tenacious, caring, and inspiring. Fast, ferocious, and funny. Compassionate, competitive, and incredibly kind. My three words for Mike are, get him, Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> of all the people I've met in the real estate community, whether it's 
someone in Denver or someone on the other side of the globe. Every single time you mention the name Mike Wynn, it is always followed with a smile and some kind of positive affirmation of him, some compliment, some great story about a deal they did, you know, a couple of years ago or, you know, 20 years ago. I've never once heard anybody say a bad thing about Mike. Um, and, you know, I think just being a female, especially coming up in this industry, you know, he was a great mentor and a great leader for me. Mike, as everybody that knows him well, just knows how well-spoken he is, how articulate. And it's just, it's an, it's an amazing thing to watch him just sort of navigate through a conversation and turn just everything into a positive outcome. So he's an incredible, incredible deal maker. And that's just kind of scratches the surface on, um, you know, positive experiences we've had and things we could learn from him. At the end of the day, being able to work on this team with Mike Wynn has just been such an incredible honor for me and has done so many things for me and my family. So it's, I'm very, very appreciative of all that Mike has done. I just want to say I'm really grateful for the successes we had together and his incredible role in creating that great success for us as a team. And I'm really thankful for that. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mike Wynn, NAOP Colorado 2020 Legacy Broker winner. Mike? Uh, thank you for the, uh, the kind introduction, and it was great to see the videos from my, uh, from my team. I'm sincerely humbled and honored to receive the NAIOP Legacy Broker Award. I'd like to thank the uh, NAIOP Awards Committee for choosing me for this very, very important award. I'd also like to send along a thank you to all my clients that I worked with over the last 41 years. It's been my pleasure to represent each and every one of you during my career. Those relationships and and friendships really culminated over 500 transactions, over $21 billion of sales. I built a highly successful team by starting with team culture. Every new team member that I hired to join my team was interviewed by every other team member and the vote always had to be unanimous. There are no sharp elbows on my team and brokerage is competitive. I heard this so many times from clients, unsolicited from around the country. I always put the client's needs first. And through all of that, my team has maintained a 75% market share among the highest, if not the highest in the entire country. Another characteristic of my team that I developed is how to win and lose gracefully. And this works for everybody, not just brokers, investors, developers, architects, engineers, contractors, property managers. Yes, be proud when you win a new assignment or opportunity, but do not gloat. And never, never criticize your client when you lose a piece of business, no matter how hard it is and painful. A couple last thoughts. One is never expect or feel you're entitled to a new opportunity. Another one is under promise and over deliver. I know it sounds simple, but it's easy to forget. Another one is always do what you say you'll do. Same thing. It's easy to forget. Thank you to everybody. One last thing I'd like to say is please stay safe and stay away from the virus. Happy Wednesday. Congratulations, Mike, and I love the t-shirt. I hope you're pre-gaming for the big storm this weekend.